In this video, we're going to discuss performing a vCenter upgrade. So the vCenter upgrade comes in two stages. Uh, in stage one, what we're going to do is deploy a destination vCenter server. And one of the things that we're going to need for stage one is a Windows machine that is local to the vCenter server. So this can be a Windows server or a Windows workstation. And the reason we need this Windows machine is that we need a staging area. So our first step is to locate the vCenter Enterprise Plus ISO that we downloaded from myVMware.com. And what we want to do is we want to mount it to our Windows staging machine. And once we've mounted the ISO, what we're going to do is we're going to perform a UI install. So there's a directory here called vcsa slash ui slash installer. And we want to navigate to that and then navigate to the Win32 subfolder. And what we're going to do is we're going to run the installer. So once the vCenter Server Appliance 6.5 installer has been loaded, what we want to do is click on Upgrade. We're going to click past the introduction, accept the license agreement. And what we're going to do here is we're going to connect to our source vCenter Server. So I'm going to enter in uh, credentials for this vCenter server. And in this next section, what I'm going to do is enter in the uh, information for the ESXi host that the vCenter server uh, resides on. We'll set the certificate warning. Now on this next pane, what we're going to do is specify the uh, IP address of an ESXi host where we're going to push out the, uh, the destination vCenter appliance. So on this screen, what I want to do for simplicity's sake is I'm going to keep the ESXi host the same. So I want both my source vCenter server and my destination vCenter server uh, to reside on the same ESXi host. On the next pane, what we're going to do is we're going to name our destination vCenter appliance. And we're going to give it a root password. OK, so we need to choose an accurate deployment size. And this is an important step because uh, what you're doing in this stage and deploying a destination vCenter appliance is uh, we're just kind of prepping for stage two. In stage two, what we're going to do is we're going to copy all of the configuration settings, logs, any relevant information off of the source vCenter appliance to our upgraded and new destination vCenter appliance. So if you do not choose a deployment size that is adequate, so for example, if the destination vCenter appliance is smaller than the source vCenter appliance, you're going to run into issues. So for my deployment, uh, my vCenter uh, deployment has four CPUs and 16 gigs of memory. So I want to select the small deployment. And then I'm going to choose a des uh, basically a data store to house the new uh, destination vCenter appliance. On this next pane, what we want to do is we want to set a temporary IP address for our destination vCenter server. So initially, what will happen is that the destination vCenter appliance will be deployed with the temporary IP address. And stage two will copy over all, you know, all of our configuration settings, logs, any relevant data from the source uh, vCenter appliance. And then once this is complete, uh, what the upgrade wizard will do is set the uh, original vCenter IP address uh, on the new destination vCenter appliance. So I've got an IP address that isn't being used.
Okay, so on the last pane, basically we have a chance to verify to make sure that we put in all the information correctly. And once you verify that, you can go ahead and click on Finish. And it will start deploying the Destination vCenter appliance. Okay, now that we've successfully completed stage one of the vCenter upgrade, we can proceed on to stage two.